not commonly regarded as creators of fine art, airbrush artists have toiled on the fringe of the art world for many years. Enter Marcus Robinson, a self-taught airbrush artist who's working to destroy barriers and help Norwalk's youth at the same time. A lot of these kids are in inner city, you know, um, low-income communities, and they're exposed to a lot of violence, they're exposed to a lot of negativity, and this is a uh, positive, uh, positive form of income, and hopefully uh, what they'll get out of it is, you know, a cool craft or hobby, and most importantly, if they'll get out of it as another form of income that they can have for themselves as young people. Partnering with Neon, Robinson conducts classes teaching the basics of airbrushing, an art form mostly overlooked by mainstream artists. Airbrushing um, definitely doesn't get the respect it deserves, probably because most people related to carnival artists, um, and they don't really know that you can do fine art with airbrush. My Sean Diddy Combs picture was a portrait of him. And when people look at it, they was like, what instrument did you use to do that? And I tell them an airbrush, and a lot of people don't believe me. I did Angelina Jolie, I've done 50 Cents, I've done a lot of people using the airbrush tool. So artists like myself, um, we're trying to use airbrushing as a tool to you know, break into that art world and show them through exhibits and through you know, media and through teaching um, young people in the, in the schools and stuff. Robinson's own introduction to airbrushing came during a chance encounter at an amusement park. I noticed that there was a long line of people waiting for something. And um, I had happened to walk to the front of that line and I saw an airbrush artist when I was probably about 12 years old. And um, when I saw that artist, I was like, wow, man, one day I want to, you know, probably do that. I actually use the media a lot for uh, my selections. Whoever is considered like the hottest person in entertainment or, you know, with our president, Barack Obama, um, being a lot in the media, I'll pick a media image because those are the images that can probably sell the most. The kids actually enjoy learning it. It's tough at the beginning, um, but they do like the final result of their painting. So it's cool to watch. And that's what the reaction I get from the young people. From the older people, I get, um, can it be taught? Because they actually really want to learn how to do it. Air is compressed and pushed through the gun uh, through a funnel. And you can control the funnel um, spray with a, with a trigger. And um, depending on how much paint you want, you pull the trigger back, you want more paint, you pull the trigger forward. So, but it's, it's very tricky and it takes a lot of practice to kind of master that, the flow of the air that comes out. And you attach the paint up to the airbrush and then that's how you get your color out. You know, young people want to work. They want to help their parents um, generate some type of income into the household. Um, a lot of single moms out there, you know, trying to raise their kids. This is a good way to, to kind of get people, to, young people to have skills. To create a business out of it, you know, um, and generate their own income. And those lessons can be taught, I mean, can be used throughout life um, as they strive to, you know, pick a major in college or as they strive to uh, maybe take up a business course in college or open up their own business straight out of high school. They would have the, the know-how to do it, you know, from this early level.